All right, another quick video of Chloe. I've got um, her. She's not ready to come out of the cage, and we don't rush them. We really want to just leave the door open and let them come out when they feel comfortable enough. And she's only been here downstairs 24 hours, so I'm not going to rush her by any means. She is sniffing um, at another cat, male, that came up and sniffed at her um, without any hissing or aggression. So that is giving me... Um, a pretty good indication that um, she will match all right with a male cat. Um, now when we do, we like to do the opposite sex matching because we just find the same sex end up having territorial issues. When we do opposite sex matching, what we like to do is have fairly similar personalities. So you don't want to match a bully cat, very strong, outgoing, pushy cat with a very shy cat because uh, that just doesn't work, that one takes advantage of the other. So you kind of want to have equal playing field, so to speak. So I see um, this gal as being uh, very friendly, very outgoing, very people-oriented, very interactive, uh, very happy, uh, very, you know, happy-go-lucky, life is good, checking everything out, um, definitely likes attention, um, and so that's what I'm thinking for the male, if, if she's matched with male. Now, she can be the only cat, absolutely, um, and girls in particular love being the only cats. And she can be the only cat, um, I will say this is probably a cat that needs quite a bit of attention. Um, just, the, just sort of the way she's, you know, her body language here, she probably needs a lot of loving and interaction and time. She's probably going to be in your face and under your feet and want to sleep with you, want to... Um, wind around your legs, want to be very, very involved with you. There we go. There we go. Good. So um, I'm going to mark her needs attention. I'm going to mark her. Um, I've already marked her not with female cats, um, but I'm going to go at this time, it's still early, with um, matching with a, if, a, if she's matched with a male cat, that it needs to be not a not a super bully strong personality and most girls do not want to be pounced on and wrestled um, but with with kind of an outgoing cat so Linksy this boy Linksy if you watch his videos at all um, although you know he might be a little bit on the wrestly side I don't know he does back down from other cats um, if they um, hang on got a little bit of hissing going on here um, Linksy does back down from other cats if they give him a swat. So as long as you've got a male that will back down if she gives a swat or indicates um, to, to leave her alone, then I think that would be fine. But if you've got a male you're trying to match and he really needs a rough and tumble playmate, you know, then we, we might e actually even need to look at another male uh, match. So f we're back to Chloe for Chloe, who's now now hiding behind over here in the corner. Um, we're going to look for either a home as the only cat. I think children are okay. I wouldn't say small children. I just think um, the girls do better with older children. The boys do fine with small children. Um, and I would say if matched with another cat, male um, and similar personality. So sweet, friendly, outgoing, curious, ambassador type, not a bully, um, and not terrified.